Hey everyone, we're at the SAP for Utilities event in Huntington Beach, and I am here with... Peter Gregg, Chief Operating Officer of Hydro One. Peter, you won an award today. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, we won an award. It was the um, CIS Customer Information System project that we just went live with in May, um, and we won Best Project from a Canadian perspective. I think there's an American uh, project that won as well, but we got one because we're special and we're Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you mentioned that there were a number of projects you've done over the last couple of years? Yeah, we've we've been on an SAP journey for about six years now, um, where we've we've sort of done all of our HR pay, back office stuff, we've done investment management, workflow processes, uh, but this last one, which we call our phase four, was the customer information system uh, replacement. We had a legacy system that had been uh, built for us about 11 years ago, incredibly com complex and purpose-built rather than out of the box, and uh, it was unsupportable and we needed to change it. So we've uh, gone live on May 24th of this year and we've had uh, excellent success so far. Okay, and I mean, apart from the fact that you had that legacy system that was cobbled together, as you say, what was the thinking behind the, the last six years' investments? Uh, it's really, you know, the theme of this event has been sort of modernization of the utilities. And I think we had the realization that to survive in this business, we needed to change um, our, our way of life. We had a real challenge where a lot of our assets were coming to end of life. Uh, hadn't been a major capital expansion in 50, 60 years. Um, and our customer expectations were changing as well. Their expectations of having um, better service, better information about our, our company. So we took a step back, um, talked to a lot of uh, professionals in the business, and took what I think was a bold step to try to get ahead of that uh, trend of modernizing utility. And we're proud to say that uh, we have sort of been at the forefront um, of that modernization trend. But that's a lot of money. It's an awful lot of money. And we've spent a lot of time discussing it with our regulator and our customers. Uh, we've had wonderful regulatory support all the way throughout it um, because they see the value of the business cases we've put forward. I think the challenge for us now that we're taking a bit of a break from project time is now how do we leverage all of that spend, all that investment to make sure that we are making better uh, asset management decisions, we're making better investment decisions that we're getting more efficient processes to deliver the work to our customers and having that impact, that positive impact on rates that our customers see. So long term it should help at least stabilize the price for a while? It'll stabilize the price, I think it will. We're having other pressures to um, in the Ontario marketplace outside of our own business, but we don't manage the commodity price. Commodity price has been going up substantially. Um, and I think customers are saying, well, we don't really care who manages the price. You've all got to do your own part to keep the prices down. So I think uh, the investment we've made is going to keep us on a, on a flatter um, trajectory. Our challenge now that we've given to all our staff is uh, to try to keep as flat rate increases as we possibly can. And so we're going in for a distribution. We do a transmission and a distribution filing in our business. And uh, our challenge in our distribution five-year rate case is to keep our average annual increase at 1%, so less than inflation. Excellent. Fantastic. Thanks very much. Great. Thank you.